Grimsley here, Ken. How are you, Mike? Just fine. You're ranked what in the world for Rubik's Cubes? 82nd officially. And that means you're 82nd fastest person for solving the Rubik's Cube. Uh, well, yeah, officially. Okay. Yeah. Let's see you go at it right here. He's got to think. What are you looking for when you're trying to solve this? Um, I'm trying to pair up the edges and the corners and put them in place. And uh, it's kind of hard on TV, you know. No problem. <laughs> the pressure. He's doing a good job, though. <laughs> you are doing good. What's your normal time? Uh, I average about 39 seconds. Wow. And what's so your best time? The best time's 29. And, and what would be the time to beat if you wanted to be the world champ? Oh, uh, man, you'd have to be pretty fast. Uh, Mackie does it about 12 seconds, so, totally. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys, the International Rubik's Cube Competition is this weekend here at the Exploratorium in San Francisco. Anyone can show up and take on the likes of Mike Grimsley, who, wow, you're, you're doing good. I'm getting there. Well, you know, he has to stop and talk. That's distracting. I wouldn't be able to do it. I have to solely focus on that, you know. And then you guys stand next to a group <laughs> like, hey, yeah. very good. Don't you slam it down? <laughs> yeah, usually. <laughs> and it's a ten different Break thousand it. pieces. All right. right, right. I'll have more information coming up, you guys, on that. And um, you want to see Mike uh, solve it again? Sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, come back a little later. Okay. Right. I'm going to know if he time, does we're it. We're going to time him this time. We do. He has an official timer, and we'll time him finally. Okay. Next time you, you can tell good. us as well. Hey, you solved it. Oh. I, I can go. I'm going for two colors. Okay, Bob. Thanks. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. This is. Wow. You're going to mess it up. <laughs> wow. Check this out. Only took me six minutes, 58 seconds. Beat my personal record of seven minutes. Right. And I did it with my eyes closed. Not bad. Mike Grimsley, though, is the uh, the main guy here. How are you, Mike? Good, good. Ranked 82nd in the world for solving the Rubik's Cube. Your best time is? Uh, like 29 and a half seconds or something. And he's going to be competing in the uh, Rubik's Cube competition this weekend at the Exploratorium in San Francisco. So you basically you, you time people on how long it takes to do this with two hands. That's right. And what other kind of competition do you have with the Rubik's Cube at these competitions? There's a blindfolded solve, a one-handed solve. Tell me about the one-handed. How does that work? Let me guess. One hand? Yeah. And then you, how do you do that? With your fingers and uh, You just palm? have to have a lot of dexterity to do that. And uh, what's the time on that? Uh, I think it's about three minutes, three minutes, ten seconds or so. And then blindfolded. There are people who are actually yeah. able to do it blindfolded. And how do you do that? Oh, man. I, I have no idea. I don't even try that stuff. But there's just some amazing people out there that can do stuff like that. Yeah, we saw some video of a guy who did it with his hands behind his back, not looking at it. And he just kind of stared at the cube for like 10 seconds and then did this and i think that took him uh like like three minutes yeah. so any rules that uh people might not be aware of uh, um, when you show up to this you can use your own cube uh it makes everybody's cube the same it's open to everybody i mean pretty much they they mix everyone's cubes the same and um, so they have like have a pattern they say we're going to turn it two ways this right. way three ways that way right. and then you solve it right and then you you uh, have a timing pad that's something like this where you yep. put your hands on we'll show that in a minute why don't i mix up the cube and we'll um, all right. do you a little mix trial run good. all right here and you want to have it lubed good right too yeah lube. what do you, you recommend uh silicone spray all right why don't you hold the mic here all right <laughs> all right here we go oh, bob being really tricky here Oh, that's good. Mixing See, up I've the red and the white. I'm lost Woo! already. I'm nutty. I'm gonna go for something that's completely different. Uh, probably gonna this have guy can probably do anything. Please. All right. I think I got two or three sides. Right. All right. You got to mix good. Here's yeah, I got to mix good. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's use the timer. Um, the timer works, so you have to have your hands on the timer, both hands down, and once you lift them up, it starts and you pick up the cube. So and they give you 15 seconds to inspect, so I'm not cheating over here. Inspect. That's right. All right, Mike. All right, well, on your set, on your mark. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Here it goes. He was telling me earlier what you can do is you can go online and actually look for solutions. There's many different ways, literally dozens, maybe even hundreds of different ways of solving the cube. It's not just one, and you have to use things called algorithms. So if you took calculus, you're probably familiar with that. If you're like me, uh, you have no idea what that means. <laughs> you would just try to match Anybody a side. Can do it. it just takes a little practice. I did yeah, you, you heard Mike. Anyone can do it. Things. just takes a little practice. Mike learned this. Uh, he was cooped up in the hospital after a motorcycle accident, so he had a lot of time on his hands. And uh, keep in mind, he's got a bunch of kids here. He's got the camera light, and he's got me. Uh, standing next Hold to him, in. which is probably real almost annoying. Done, almost You're getting there. For a little bit I, I sense it. How's the time, Bob? Uh, let's see. 46 seconds. Oh, hey. and he's done right there. Uh, 46.81. Wow. Nice. That's good TV time. Yeah. Hey, best of luck. And by Thank the way, it's open uh, to anyone this weekend at the Exploratorium. Go to our website, NBC11.com. You can find a link. And if you don't have your own Rubik's Cube, they uh, sell them here. So you can just show up with your hands. Okay. Very cool.
Good That's job. It. I know, no kidding. What yeah. a challenge there. Thanks, Thanks guys. Bob. We appreciate it. All right. He's champion Rubik's Cube, fellas. Okay, there's a big tournament in town. Uh, just, just, just have a look at this one because a fella named Mackey was able to do this in 15 seconds. 15 seconds. He was on with Henry Tenenbaum. Right. And a look at it, and away they go. Just boom. Uh, just, I mean, almost. Kinds of ways of I, 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 I used the term earlier in the show. It was almost like Ninja. Just boom, 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 boom. And then done. 15 seconds doing the Rubik's Cube. And I, there's the name. We like to call him Mackey. But there it is. And joining us right now are two other uh, pretty good Rubik's Cube players. Uh, we, we, we got Mike Grimsley and we got uh, Cl Clancy uh, Cochran with us. And uh, tell us about this thing, because I, I've never been able to do it. In fact, off camera, Candace Wiggins just did it just like, like that. But yeah, I mean, it, good. It, is, is, it, is it a gift? Is it just a knack? Do you work at it? Just talk about it. Uh, well, I mean, it just, it's, you know, it just takes a little practice. It's Really easy to do. I mean, once you just practice a little bit, you don't have to be a super genius or anything to do it, you know. Yeah. Wait, wait, you, wait, is there a, a, a method? I mean, I mean, what, what, yeah, just, just explain exactly. that. There's a couple different methods, and if you spend time studying some of the methods, you'd be surprised how easy it really is. Just like anything else, it takes a little bit of study. Then once you understand a couple concepts, you're able to do it, and then if you are like us and want to solve it for speed, then you just keep working and working and refining it more and more. All right, well, let's, let's, let's do one right off the bat, okay? You mess it up. Okay, we got the timer right here, okay? You mix it? I'll hit the... Yeah, here, I'll, yeah, I'll mix it up. Okay. okay, all right. Yeah, all right. Okay, all right. Okay, all right, Mike, there's yours. Plants, hand it over. Okay, because uh, it's got to be a fair competition <laughs> here. Okay, uh, all right, here you go, Clancy. All right, so we got the timer here. I'll hit power, okay? I'll put my hands here. Oh, uh, you got to hit reset first. Oh, got to hit reset. Yeah. Put my hands here, and when the green light comes up, all right, ready, set, go. And away they go. Look at them just clicking, whirring. Now, me talking over you, that doesn't mess up your concentration. No. Yeah, usually it, it slows you down a little bit if you talk, but, you know, um, for the most part, it's, I don't know, it's weird. It just comes like, it's automatic after yeah. a while. You don't after even you think practice about it. practice a little bit. It just, just comes, it just came, it just comes naturally to you after a while. Yep. It's, you know, just like... I don't know what to compare it to. I just, do, just, not, like I just do not have the intellect for this. This is just... <laughs> look at you guys. Away you go. I mean, you just... Uh, the way I do it, it's... You, know, you do, like, the first two slices intuitively. And then when you get to the last layer, you have to do a couple algorithms, which are just, like, a set of moves that does a certain... That's it? Yeah. Wow. That's less than a minute. That's 50 seconds. Yeah. 50 seconds. I, wow. I can go faster than that when I'm not on TV, but... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you mean, the, the, the TV adds another 10 seconds to yeah, it, huh? At, at least. least. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, well, thanks so much for coming on and showing us your uh, your mastery at the Rubik's Cube. All right, uh, Mike and Clancy joining us. Uh, my thanks to all my guests, again, uh, Candace Wiggins especially. Uh, anyway, that'll do it for Sports Final. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll have a whole another brand new batch coming up next Sunday. NBC11's Barbara Dale joining us live with a look at some of the people that can really do them fast. Well, guys, I don't think this is one man who would be frustrated by the cube because he can solve it in some pretty good time. We're talking about Mike Grimsley and one of his fellow competitors and actually his girlfriend, Laura Han Han Hanoran. How are you guys? Doing well, thanks. Doing good? How about you? Good. The competition, International Rubik's Cube competitions this weekend. What's your time, Mike? Uh, well, 26 or so. 26 seconds. Yeah. That's not bad, Lauren. About a minute. About a minute, but that, you can still solve the thing. And what's the, the world record right now? 11.75 like, I have written down, 11.75. Very good, very good. I, I thought, you know, a lot of people were going to sit, sit here and watch this video, and I thought this thing died in the 80s. Yeah, it's uh, it's coming back a lot, um, thanks to the Internet. So it's a lot easier to learn how to solve it, just get online, and, and uh, it's easy to follow. So a lot of people are learning that way, and... Uh, and it, and it seems that you, you said there's about 40 or 50 people that are going to show up at the competition. So there, there's mm -hmm. definitely a following. And the, the one kid who holds the record is a young kid, someone who is 
post Rubik's Cube and it was big in the 80s. So that, that's got to be kind of weird to be going up to someone who didn't even grow up on this. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. So how do you solve it? I mean, in, in general. I mean, are you looking for patterns and then you, you figure out these patterns that you have memorized in your head? Kind of. I, I do it uh, layer by layer. Here, let me mix it up real quick. Mix it up. I, I, um, some people can start on any color. I always start with blue, put it on bottom. The centers are fixed. You build off of that. I know this side will be blue because the center is blue. So here's a corner edge pair. You can just put it in place. See, like these right here. You get a little box going. Oh, see, I get it now. <laughs> yeah, I remember trying to solve this thing as a kid. It was it never happened. And you just got into this recently because of, of Mike. How long did it take for you to finally solve it? Um, I didn't get around to trying to really try to solve it for a couple of months after I started playing with it. But it took you a couple of months then? Yeah, or maybe? It, was, it was incremental. He taught me how to do the first two layers, and then I just kind of did that for a while and decided I was ready to do more, and then he taught me the rest. What is the obsession with this thing? Well, I don't know. I think it keeps you occupied. It also, it also seems to help with thinking skills. I think that I'm better at problem solving since playing with this, which is interesting. All right. Let's see if Mike can uh, is true to what he said. His okay. time is. What would you let's say? Let's time is? 26. I'm hoping to get it under 30 All right. Seconds. You want to mix this thing up a little yeah, bit? Yeah, if you would. There you go. And you have a timer here, Lauren? If you don't mind, uh, we'll time uh, Mike. You want to give him on the... Are you ready, Mike? Uh, just a sec. Let me get my inspection in. Oh, yeah, what, what are the rules when you're in a competition? You ten second like inspection. Okay. Everybody's cubes mix the same. You get a ten second inspection and they just time you. And who mixes it? A computer? The judge. Or a robot? Oh, a judge. Yeah, well, they use a scramble algorithm from a computer. Oh, okay. Just random sequence. Yeah, cool. Everybody has the same one. Okay, got it. So they're going to have the exact same cube. Uh, go ahead and give them the on your mark, set, go. We'll see how Mike Grimsley does here. Ready? Yeah. Go. Right now, he is looking for that. He's playing on the blue. I have no idea what he's trying to do with it, though. Pairing up corner edge <laughs> okay. pairs right now. And we're looking at uh, 16 seconds. Uh-oh. Oh, man. <laughs> I'll be quiet. That's not it. It's hard to do. You're getting there. Oh. Yeah, you're, it's, it is pretty cold out here. You can definitely feel it in your fingers. Let's see. Last move. All right. What do you get? 33 and a half. Bye -bye. All right, not bad. <laughs> hey, it took me 33 hours to get it done. Hey, best of luck this weekend. Thank both you. Both of you. Lauren, thanks for uh, coming out uh, bright and early. You guys, this competition is uh, the 14th, which is Saturday. Saturday here right at the Exploratorium. And go to our website, NBC11.com, and look on the, uh, the news link for uh, more information. they got to have one with just one cube and then not have it solved. So. That could be good. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. I remember getting two sides. That's yeah, I think it. I might have gotten two sides once. I was able to do a color. I was actually able to do a color about a minute ago in uh, a minute. But that's all it took. And what, what's that right good. there? This is a Rubik's Magic. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Man. Oh. Well, that's okay. right. They did have a lot of different Rubik's things spin off. I never got any of them. Did you didn't? <laughs> no. No, I didn't. Ask that one I did. Okay. Check in stories. We're working on five and six coming up next. And Prince William. No